Hey guys, Loghead here. Welcome back to another um, video. Today I'm doing a special challenge. I'm going to see how long I can last against Dark Bowser. Here are some rules. I'm not allowed to inhale Fawful to go to the second phase. I'm not allowed to use items. So, I'm going to keep going until I die. Alright, here we go. Actually, the first time I'm going to be commentating on a boss video. Here we go. Yeah, that even means I can't use cheese to heal bros pee. I know it's kind of pointless because it really restore my HP. Oh my god, I didn't get all that off him. It doesn't even matter, I kill him anyway. It's ridiculous how much damage I do. Like, I grind way too much. Yeah, if I take damage, I can't recover it. So yeah, this is gonna keep going until I die. I'm gonna use this again, why not? I have so much bros pee. That's what I call it. I know other people call it SP, Brawl P, or something else. There's a lot of different names. Look at how so much damage I do. <laughs> oh my god. Even in giant form, I kill him. When he has raised defense. If this goes on for more than half an hour, I'm ending it there because I'm definitely really good at this game. This thing, I haven't taken damage yet. And this time we're gonna punch him. Yeah, my horn stat is so high, so I get lucky hits a ton. There we go, let's zoom that in a little bit so you guys can see that better. Even then, I one shot him. With a punch. I honestly wish I had recorded everything at this angle when I did this game. It's so much bigger and it's easier to see. Oh well. Might as well go ahead and use a Goomba Storm. Pretty sure you're curious about how much damage I do. Oh my god, he's already dead.
Oh my god. Am I that good? I haven't taken damage yet. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't think I was going to be able to punch a stone back. Yep, there he goes. Pretty sure you're curious about how much damage you do to Dark Bowser with all these different brawl attacks. I might as well use them all. Ridiculous how broken my damage is. I don't have high defense though, so I'm definitely gonna take a lot of damage. If I get a hit, I'm gonna take a lot of damage. Oh, there I go, it took damage. First time I actually took some damage. I don't want to keep dealing with him in giant form. Because he keeps throwing in minions. That's all he does in this big form, if you, you didn't know. Yeah, that Thwomp did 110 damage. So they have a lot of damage dealt to me. That's the thing, I have like no defense, so if I take a hit, I just go down. Oh my god. This is definitely a unique video idea. I just thought I could try this, see how long I can last. I'm pretty sure most of you know that Dark Bowser is unkillable. Unless you do something about Fawful. I used to suck at timing with the punches. That's one thing I used to do. I used to suck at. Here we go. Koopa Corpse. It's actually the first time I'm actually using this attack in a battle. Oh, I missed one. Still do a ton of damage no matter. My horn stat is incredibly high. Because of the king shell. It doubles his horn. I invested a ton in horn when I played through this game. Yeah, Pal wasn't everything with me, but Pal is definitely one of the biggest stats I invest in. Because most other stats don't really matter to me because I can just dodge attacks. these bombs. That's a lot of damage. You should see the Magic Koopa mob. It doesn't do as much as the Broggy Bonker, but if you get a lot of lucky hits without attack, you just go off. There's so much, I can do so much, there's so many opportunities I can do with this Bowser, considering how overleveled he is. He's not level 99 or anything crazy. If you saw my final boss video, he was level 75, and he's still the same level. There goes Fawful again. 
One of these times I'm gonna mess up my punch, I know it. Because the timing on these are ridiculous. Pretty sure I've seen most people get hit by that attack at least once. It's a lot faster in the in the original. My reflexes sucked in the original. I played through it recently. Because I was used to how slow the remake was. That's the other thing. Magic Koopa Mob. I didn't really use any of these overpowered attacks because I got Broggy Bonker really early. So I didn't really have any of these attacks I needed to use in late game. Because there's really no boss I could fight before I had Broggy when I got all these other attacks. Like the Koopa Corpse, the Bomb on Blitz, the Magic Koopa Mob. Yeah, there really, really wasn't really a boss I could fight before then. That I couldn't get the Broggy Bonker in. Like, by then, I, I had the Broggy Bonker. Like, I got all 15 buddies before Blizzard mid -bus, so I just went ahead and got Broggy. I'm actually down to 70 bros P. Unless that's gone, I'm not going to be able to recover it. That's just a rule I put in here. I'm not allowed to recover. Oh my god. I actually managed to get all that off him. Let's go. This attack is insane. I can't believe how, bro how broken this the Broggy Bonker is. That's one thing I'm surprised Nintendo did. When they developed this game because of how broken the attack is. Like it does so much damage. It's actually ridiculous. If I keep up dodging like this, I think I'm going to live for another while. Because the only thing that damaged me is because there's two minions attacking me at the same time. Like, it was going to be hard to punch the bomb on my way with the thwomp on top of me. And if I ducked for the thwomp, the bomb would have hit me. Oh my god, I successfully keep on doing that. Alright, there comes Flawful again. I'm running out of bros points. Oh my god, I placed that bomb wrong. There he goes. I slipped my stylus. I had him in a good place and I moved him by accident. The fact that I'm just over leveled. He just straight up dies every time. That's the thing, if he didn't have Fawful to keep resurrecting him, he'd be dead by now. Like in one attack, he would have been dead. One, one big hit could um, do a ton of damage to me, so. Yeah, oh! Oh my god, I'm at one. Oh my god, I'm at 42. I'm not allowed to heal either. I think I said that already. So the point is to see how long I can last against him. Like one more hit's gonna p cut, probably kill me. <laughs> he keeps on dying. I'm out of bros points. We're just gonna punch him to death. From this point on, it's just going to be a straight up, straight up attacks with no brawl. Oh my god, here we go. How have I not messed that up yet? I thought one of those times I'd miss my timing on that. I might be dead here if I can't punch one back at him. Oh, I got it. Alright. This could go on for some time, but I don't take damage.
thing with this is that they made the cage a little bit easier in um, the remake because you don't have to worry about swinging the cage. I mean, in the original, it was optional to swing the cage to deal damage to Dark Bowser. If you felt like you just wanted to get out of the cage, you could just spam X and just get out. But didn't swing when you hit it with a punch. And he's dead again. Oh my god. I'm like One Punch Man Bowser. I feel like that could be a meme. One hit's gonna kill me at this point. Like, one hit. So, it's like, no defense. But I'm clinging. Staying alive. This could kill me. This could kill me. I'm very unlucky. One of these is going to kill me. It's going to be right here. Yep. Well, I lasted a good while, so that's pretty good for how long I lasted. Well, that's the end of that video. I just thought I'd try this out, see how long it could last. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.